In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the Lord be with you. Today we uh, celebrate the Optional Memorial uh, for the recognizing the, uh, uh, the, the first martyrs of the Holy Roman Church uh, in the year uh, 64, so probably 30 years after the, the resurrection of Christ. Uh, many Christians were uh, tortured, crucified, and even burned alive by the tyrannical uh, Emperor Nero uh, in Rome. Uh, and it was, they were getting executed in the gardens of the Vatican Hill. Uh, and uh, we, um, we honor them today. Uh, and remember, the word martyr means witness, uh, but also, the, and so we're all called to be martyrs, to be witnesses of the love of Christ and our love for Christ. So as we celebrate the first martyrs of the church, uh, let us uh, uh, acknowledge uh, our sins and soften our lack of courage when it comes to following Christ. Lord Jesus, you are the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the truth that makes us free. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the life we're called to live. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who consecrated the abundant first fruits of the, Holy, of the Roman Church by the blood of the martyrs, grant, we pray, that with, their, with firm courage we may together draw strength from so great a struggle and ever rejoice at the triumph of faithful love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is with us, who can be against us? He did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. How will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us, who will condemn us. It is Christ Jesus who died, rather was raised who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being slain all the day. We are looking upon as we are looked upon as she to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities nor present things, nor future things, nor past, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. The response is, our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us, the torrents would have swept over us. Over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. 
Broken was the snare and we were afraid. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. May God open our minds, our lips, and our hearts. Jesus said to his disciples, See that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will deceive many. You will hear of wars and reports of wars. See that you are not alarmed. For these things must happen, but it will not yet be the end. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes from place to place. All these are the beginning of the labor pains. Then they will hand you over to persecution, and they will kill you. You will be hated by all nations because of my name, and then many will be led into sin. They will betray and hate one another. Many false prophets will arise and deceive many, and because of the increase of evil doing, the love of many will grow cold. But the one who perseveres to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. But the one who perseveres to the end will be saved. As we celebrate the first holy martyrs of the of the early church, the Roman Church, uh, we are again have the witnesses of those who did persevere. In this twenty uh, fourth chapter of Matthew, again we see a litany of many distressing things. It talks about uh, nations rising against nation and famines and earthquakes and uh, wars uh, and repeatedly and and, and being persecuted, being hated, and repeatedly talks about how many will be deceived. Um, You know, well, the ultimate uh, deception is to be convinced by your circumstances or by others that that uh, that we can be separated from the love of Christ. If there's anything we can do, anyone can do to us that could separate us from the love of Christ. And that's why in, in the letter to the Romans, in Romans 8 today, uh, that Paul emphatically makes the, clear that, uh, you know, who will bring a charge against God's holy ones? Uh, it's God who acquits us, who will condemn. It's Christ Jesus who died, rather was raised, uh, who's at, who stands at the right hand of God. God is for us. God intercedes for us, uh, not against us. Now, now, Nero, the Emperor Nero, was notoriously, uh, you know, a tyrannical and brutal and sadistic, and uh, just could, you know, revel in his power to just destroy in horrible ways, you know, burn people alive, torture them, uh, and um, and people feared him because of that. Uh, but to his surprise, there were some who didn't fear him, who weren't afraid of him. Uh, the martyrs continued, the, uh, those Christians who continued to uh, be faithful to God, who defied his decrees, and even under the threat of death, which was usually a guaranteed way of getting people to comply, they figured they loved their lives, they didn't want to lose their lives. But to his shock, there were Christians who said that, that did not so much hold on to their lives because they believed in eternal life. They were going to be faithful to God come what may, just as people of faith had done before them. Uh, So that as powerful as Nero was, uh, not even he could separate them, those believers from the love of Christ, and they knew it. And that was was what so outraged him. He was not successful in, you know, erasing them from history because thousands of years years later, we're still talking about them. We have a feast in honor of them. As I mentioned at the beginning, the word martyr is a Greek word for witness. The reality is that Jesus sent all of his disciples to be witnesses. 
to be witnesses of that enduring love of God that can set, never separate us, of the love that, you know, uh, that is always with us, a God who's always with us, a God that whose perfect love can ca will cast out fear. If we open our hearts to that perfect love, that we too would be delivered from our fears and not being afraid to do what he tells us to do, to go where he sends us, uh, to be faithful to him, come what may. That's what the, all the, the, all the, the most faithful Christians and, and taught us, teach us. Uh, may we truly bear witness that there is no, nothing greater uh, than being in a relationship with him, that there is no, uh, there is no price too high uh, to be faithful to him because God has never outdone in genera done in generosity. The martyrs gave God in generously their hearts and even their bodies and their lives, but they would not outdo God who gave his heart and his son on the cross. But he also gave us one other thing that was the key to the martyr's perseverance. He gave us resurrection. Let us bring for the Lord our prayers and petitions. We pray for the church throughout the world that she may go forth in the power of the Spirit, spreading the good news of God's enduring love. We pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world, for an end of the scourge of violence and war, poverty and injustice. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all uh, <clears throat> those, uh, such as Christian brothers and sisters, who are persecuted for the faith, who are falsely imprisoned, uh, who are uh, tortured or uh, retaliated against for speaking the truth and, and, and insisting on justice, that they may be encouraged today and, and, and receive the grace of perseverance. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick and the shut in, those in the hospitals and nursing homes, those for whom we promise to pray, and those who need our prayers the most, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our parish school, our faculty and staff, especially those that may on a summer break, that there may be a time of replenishing and, uh, and, and, and preparation for the fall, and also those in our summer school, that it may bear uh, uh, much fruit and give them every advantage as the fall comes. We pray to the Lord. And for all those who have died, that they may share in the fullness of the banquet of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, thank you for always hearing our prayers. We ask them with confidence, but we ask through Christ our Lord. Today we uh, offer this Mass first for the special intentions of Emily Hill and also for the repose of the soul of uh, Montserrat Barakat. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which have become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, which have become for us our spiritual drink. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs uh, poured out like Christ to glorify your name shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power 
and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness to Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, with the clergy and the entire people your Son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Suffer each other's sign of that peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter under my roof, for only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. It is you who have stood by me in my trials. 
and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that, drawing strength from the sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go now in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down.